Okay, dear students, let us see how to do this question. Two masses M1 and M2 are connected by a string over a frictionless pulley of negligible mass. The masses are released at rest and the air resistance is negligible. The mass M2 accelerates downwards with G by 2. So this mass is going downwards with an acceleration of G by 2. What is the ratio of M1 to M M1 to M2? Fine. So in this question, I am going to give you two different uh, methods. So please uh, be careful here. Both of the methods are very important and very easy. So method number one is I am just applying a very simple formula here that is F is equal to M into A. There is a motion taking place here and Newton is never wrong. No. So the total force will be equal to the total mass into total acceleration. So what is the total force? Now this mass is acted upon by a force that is M2G and this mass is acted upon by a force that is M1G. So what is the F net? So I can take it as this. I will explain you what I have written here. But first of all the force. So this M2 force is downwards and M1 force is also downwards. But M2G is more than M1G. So what is the net force? The net force will be M2G minus M1G. minus m1 g so what is the total mass that is brought into the motion by this force obviously m1 plus m2 that is the total mass here and this is 80 and from here i will find 80 what is 80 the total acceleration so 80 is i'm taking g common here it will be m2 minus m1 into g divided by m1 plus m2 so this becomes the total acceleration uh, of uh, these, these bodies. Now, in our question, this total acceleration is given as G by 2. So now by solving this, I would be able to find the ratio. M1 plus M2. So it will become M1 plus M2 is equal to twice of M2 minus twice of M1. So on solving it is 3m1 is equal to m2. So m1 divided by m2 is 1 by 3 when we cross multiply this. So A is the correct answer. Now this is the method number 1. And also I can specify here that people can remember this formula also. If you find the same case exactly same case then only you can apply this formula directly now i am going to explain you the second method uh, which i was earlier talking about and i think that will be more popular in your schools so what is happening see here the force is m2g and we take another force here and this force is known as tension now this force is m1g now what is tension tension is the restoring force that is produced inside the string when we pull the string apart and the restoring force is called tension so now in this method number two what we do is we create equations so first of all the free body diagram of the first mass so this is now moving upward so the equation will be t minus m1g is equal to m1 into 80 now 80 is the acceleration with which the mass is going up so we have assumed it 80 so this becomes the first equation similarly when we apply this same principle of free body diagram for this it becomes m2g minus t is equal to m2 into 80 now these are the two equations and we have two different variables here one is this another is this so on solving these two we would be getting our answer how we will add these two equations this t will get cancelled with this so it will obviously become this m1 plus m2 into 80 so 80 will become g into m2 minus m1 divided by m1 plus m2 and my dear students we have reached the same conclusion the same formula which you can even remember and you can apply the same formula here to get the answer so our answer is coming out to be a so this is professor varun please subscribe to my youtube channel share this video with your friends all the best